welcome to today's video we are going to do a full wig and that is what i'm using the needle the thread as well as the wig cap you also need the clips just to hold the hair better so that you get the best view you all know that i start with um sewing down the closure first before sewing down the uh, the waves if you want to know how to do that check out the video up on my channel whereby i've shared how to sew a closure for beginners yes because you can see here i only did the last part while the other one i've already completed it off camera so yeah enjoy the video my people and don't forget to like comment subscribe and share the video The closure is done and it looks so perfect, so neat and well secured. I'm using 5x5 five five straight hair, which is 18 inches. That is what I'm using the weft or the hair that I'm using is straight hair. Uh, and then the bundles are 24 inch, 24 inch with 18 inch of the closure. That is just me parting or marking the lines just to demonstrate better but i don't usually do that when i'm sewing wigs that is just for the video papers and i do the method of rotating like when i'm sewing down i rotate i don't cut my hair i just rotate so yeah please pardon my lining they are not that straight but yeah that is the direction as to how the hair is going to be sewed down I do it differently I first start with securing the front part which means I always sew down the first my first row of the weft or of the hair there by the closure the reason why I'm put I'm leaving out that space is because I want my wig to be laying as flat as possible you can see that I didn't sew the first weft closely to the closure because I want it to lay flat when I'm going to wear it or when it's going to be on my head. So you can always do it differently. You can always put it so, so close or you can do it as I do. That is just my preference. I also used to do it closely, but I realized that the closure down there, it's always a bit bumpy or the hair always looks bumpy, not as flat as I wanted until I noticed that uh, I was supposed to be leaving a bit of space or a bit of gap between the way i've sewed the closure and where i'm going to sew my first line there by the closure hopefully i'm making sense and hopefully you understand what i'm trying to say but you can always do otherwise that is just what i prefer to do My first row is done. We are going to move to the next one. You can see that when I'm sewing down that weft or that bundle, I'm not sewing exactly down on the edges, no. I've um, left a little gap. And remember, the close, the wig cap that I'm using is having an elastic by the ear side there. You don't want to pinch through the elastic because then it will not be stretching when you are going to fit the wig on your head make sure that you are just doing it so right please and then you sew as you go you make knots you tie the knots and go on you make the knots just to secure the wig or the web so that when you are going to comb the hair it's not going to pull out sewing is very much easy but it needs somebody to practice or you need to practice better for you to get it right I don't cut, we are rotating just the hair until we are done with the weft and then we continue just like that. Until we are done completely, then we will cut the last portion if we have the last portion. If you are not cutting, it helps or uh, yes, it helps the hair not to be shedding too much because you didn't cut the weft. You don't, they don't shed that, that much.
aim is to save ourselves some money as much as we can this year 2023 that's why we need to pull out we need to practice doing some of the tiny things or simple things ourselves things that make us spend a lot of money when we can just do it or when you can learn doing it yes youtube is there my videos are there other people's videos are there to learn from them you just need to practice and believe that you can do it best then you'll be the best one you'll be wearing your own wigs without breaking the bank imagine we are already buying brazilians eh, that are very expensive expensive then you add the prices for wig making and styling and whatnot it's too much <music>
fabric is done and it looks so perfect and so light i've just used one and a half which means one full bundle and the second one is just a half the reason i did that is because i've used a five by five which was full plus it took up a lot of space i've also wanted it to be light not too full styling i'm going to use that or oh, i've used that flat iron that i got from clicks which was the right investment check how it did it ironed the hair so very well like i got myself some bone straight it looks so clean it looks so neat and i love the padding i decided to do the side part for the first time because i just wanted to try it out and i feel it will look good on me once i try it out so thank you very much my people i hope you have enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe comment and share bye